all right, I got me a new project. This one involves getting rid of these cinder blocks and quite possibly using a lot of the cinder blocks I've got underneath my old mega shed down along the side and stuff. Just a lot of junk and all that blocks here. But all these blocks I think I might actually find or actually have found a use for. So we'll be using them probably as well. But what I'm doing, got my string run here. Got a block there. And run it all the way down to where that block is right there. I'll build me a small retaining wall, basically as high as the concrete uh, platform there. And uh, I'm going to try to fill this in with dirt eventually, but I just want to get the wall built. So that's what these blocks are going to be for. Finally going to put them to use. So basically from the gate to here, about two levels high with cap blocks. And my old concrete, which I'm sure is pretty solid, I'm just going to, if it can't be salvaged, then I'm just going to bust it up, stick it inside the holes of the blocks to kind of, you know, reinforce it and get rid of that. But, yep, so we got that one that I'm going to build. I might even do something down here, down this walkway between the mega shed and my sitting area, but I've also got some extra blocks set here for another retaining wall for the back side of my outdoor fireplace. So I'm going to run it right along the chain link fence and if you can see it's, the dirt is starting to bow a little bit from bow my fence out. So I want to get that squared away, get all that extra dirt taken off off of the taking the pressure off the fence and get that backfilled not really backfilled but just get this wall built to take pressure off the fence and protect the uh, outdoor fireplace there so and the final project is finishing this patio basically looks filthy now but I wanted to do this last year but didn't get to it but I want to continue the patio to this block wall that was built last year. So this grassy area here will be filled in with patio stone. So yeah, a couple of small projects. I'll just wrap it up here in one video probably and show you the progress as it comes along. Well, this is turning into a lovely day to buy supplies. Luckily, I check the radar and the rain is about to end here so I hope that's true because uh, I want to get started on this brickwork. I don't need my concrete mortar mix solidifying in the truck. So we'll see when we get to the old home depot. Well there's our stone, the 16 by 16 paver paver blocks. Yeah, they've gone up in price a little bit. I gotta get 25 of these, that's my estimate. Yeah, that's awful nice of the guys. They're gonna break out the forklift for me and uh, pull them out. So it'll be easier stack. Let's check this out while I'm waiting. Man, that's cute. A little rumble stone system. Pretty. Nice. Pretty cool, but I don't need something that thick. Uh, found the mother load of grills stashed over here in the corner. Man, too bad I don't need one. Mine's in good shape. Oh, there you go, there's 25. And didn't forget my sand for the base and the cracks. Now to wheel it to the other side and get the rest of my stuff. Oh man, there's my mortar mix. I might have to get a little help with this. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm getting pictures. This is uh, yeah, almost like a low rider. <laughs> We're loaded and out of here. All right, thanks again. Holy crap, boys, that's a load and a half there. Not since building the Mega Shed project have I had this much weight on the truck, but the dirty old Dodge is holding it. And I just gotta get the thing home and wait for my buddy Aureliano to show up and help me unload it. Well, boys and girls, we made her. No problem at all. Low riding, tires bowed. Yeah. 
Retread's doing just fine. So we got a total of 20 bags of 80 pound bags of concrete, 15 60 pound bags of sacrete, then the 25 patio stones, and we got 100 2 by 8 by 16 cap blocks. I may have overkilled it here, but I've got some other plans for these, so we'll see how many I have left over when these projects are done. But, uh, yeah. Man. What a job. Not bad for a dirty old Dodge. Ah, I'm going to take a break, wait for my buddy Aureliano to show up, and we'll unload this. Well, my big dirty Dodge is sitting a little bit better. Just went ahead and unloaded everything here because my helper decided to call in sick. <laughs> that happens. That's fine. At least I got everything here. He is going to probably show up tomorrow, so slight delay. Not a big deal, but yeah, I think my, my Dodge is a lot happier to get all that weight out of it. All right, well, what we got? We got this all dug out behind the fireplace here, and we're going to start building the wall first and going to start putting the footing down. All right, we've got the dirt pretty much dug out here for the patio and start putting sand down here in just a bit. Just scraping it away to get it nice and level. All right, we are getting down to where we're going to start putting the stone down, and this is what we had last year, and you see how filthy it is. This is what it looks like brand new. I'd like to do some pressure washing, but that's just going to blast the sand out of the cracks here. But what we're going to do this time, we're going to use bags of concrete and just spread it dry for our base, and then we're going to set the stone on top of the dry concrete mix and then as it rains and all that it'll solidify over time and then we'll just fill the cracks in with sand so yeah I guess I got too much concrete but we're gonna go ahead and um, do that all right footing is complete so we'll let that set for a bit and we'll put the blocks on next yeah look at this crap bought this from Home Depot and we've already got chunks of rock that where it's solidified. Obviously, yeah. this stuff has gotten wet somewhere. Uh, so you got to filter all that out just to put the base down. Joy. Yeah, there's a lot of chunks in there. God. It's gonna make this a lot more fun. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah. Uh, uh, not bad. That one's not as bad as this one, but. Darn it. Yeah, time to break out the heavy artillery. My old worm drive DeWalt saw. Got our mark so we can put it over there by the basket. So I'll go ahead and cut this real quick. Okay, ready. That, nice there's a saw wood. right there. <laughs> that Diamond cutting blade. Three, four seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Piece of pie. <laughs> there you go. Nice. We'll be doing that a few more times here pretty soon. So get it all lined up here. Okay. Ready? Yep. Again, that there's a saw. Whew. Makes it a lot easier. <laughs> awesome. That right. Okay. Lock number three. Let me get there.
sweet. Awesome. Perfecto. All right, we're at a halfway point. Still got that much more to go, but we're going to put some sand in here to kind of try to keep things lined up as the bricks are still moving. But it is coming along. Don't think I'm going to be cutting anymore. And as for this gap here between the wall and the patio, we're probably just going to wind up filling that in because it's going to be kind of pointless trying to cut more block and kind of patch that in. So I think what we got here. You know, still a little sand or something, so. But yeah, coming along nicely. Okay, so just got back from picking up eight more bags of concrete. I think we may need them. Might be a little bit short, so. Better safe than sorry. Well, we're going through it little by little. Coming along. It's lining up nicely with the existing wall. That gap will probably just put some concrete in there just to fill it in. That should work out fine. And yeah, that's really looking good. All right, I think that wraps it up. At least the patio, at least. We're going to just put a concrete ramp to kind of get where the gate is here so it'll still close. And just a little concrete there and then this is going to be for the retaining wall so we'll continue that next turned out real good there you go and finally spreading the sand and when it rains it'll just settle in and lock the bricks in place excellent day all right so from the patio there's the wall I'm putting in and that's the completion of it to the concrete base there for our sitting area. And that'll wrap up the block part and everything else is caps. We'll put those on. That'll complete this wall. And here it is complete. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some extra cap blocks here between the patio here of the outdoor fireplace and the wall. Fill that in a little bit. Yeah, that worked out nice. Not bad at all. I went ahead and made a little ramp here for the Keep the sand and everything from washing away. A little bit of concrete along the edging here. Gonna fill that gap in. That worked out good. And the sand is down. So that'll all settle in once the rain starts hitting. And as for the other retaining wall down there, uh, I guess we'll just get to that in the next video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.